Don't blink, it's your boy Ink. Welcome to the Comedy Show. Got to thank you all because they're having a wonderful day. Let me just put back uh, Dexter on the screen. There you go. Dexter, game. That's not important today. That on the 19th of uh, November. 18. 17. Whoa, more time than expected. Tomorrow. Well, to, actually, today. Monday, I'm starting a new job. So, um, kind of nervous, but we still want to film a couple of things. Um, once again, we're going to be opening up a pack of Pokemon. And last time we did start with Yu Gi Oh! So, this time we'll start with a Pokemon. That's what doing once again good because you deserve it. And if you're not, then I got nothing to say. Then just what's wrong, boo? You should, you should fix your life. These are always hard to open. I don't know why. Maybe because I eat my nails. Because, because. When I'm nervous, I have no nails, so that's possibly why. For, without further ado, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be checking out some Pokemon cards. I'm mean, super excited. Kind of cool thing that we're doing every single day, and it's a kind of a cool thing because so much. Oh, we're opening a pack of card. A book pack of card. It's always nice to open up a pack of card. Don't get me wrong, but it's more so that we're doing this every single day. So, although it doesn't seem like a routine, it actually is a routine, and I'm pretty sure that this is among the coolest thing that I've done, right? Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll give you a quick, 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 quick. This we had. Um, quick, quick, quick. Pidoof we had. This Onyx, I believe we had. Uh, Dark Patch we had for sure. By Sharp we had, but not this. Slowpoke we have double. Uh, we'll do a quick, quick uh, check out if we have some doubles. Or some card we check out last time or the time before. See, Durant we have, I have you, Dark Cloak, Worker I have you, Kate, Toge, Stungfish, Clink, Quamarind, Clang. Okay, so you see, Clink and Clang, different. Similar but different. Different, the same but different. The interview. I love having card. Ooh, some of those are really nice. Uh, I've had you. Scyther, I believe I have you here, but I'm not so sure. What I love is you didn't see one freaking energy. They tend to be putting up, uh, they, they tell you, oh, bro, I have 50 cards. But out of those 50 cards, at least 10 are fucking energy, which is 20%. So now we're going to be checking out again. Uh, nice. Watching Dexter right now, which is a super good show. If you're looking for a show, Dexter. Uh, so far, so good. I don't think I forgot anything. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. And there you go. That's pretty much it. Love this. Oh, Scyther. I have you twice, Scyther. There's different art style. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cheat. Uh, Scyther. Nice. Perfect. We should be okay. You ready to start? Ready to start? I am ready. So we have Clank. It melts particles of iron from other metal found in the subsoil. So it can absorb uh, them to its body of a molten steel. Pidove. Uh, where people go, this Pokemon follows. If you scattering food for them, be careful. Several hundred of them can gather at once. So cool. Wimpod. Uh, it's nature's cleaner. It's eat anything and everything, including garbage and raw and thing. I think we had this one. Onyx. Onyx, I can't, like I told you, my favorite Pokemon, but also a really good Pokemon because, um, like I said, my, my was uh, second gen. And if you know your shit, you know that second gen is, um, you can Very quickly a Rocky. A Rocky, which is a Onyx. As it digs uh, through the ground, it absorbs many hard objects. This is what makes its body so solid. Slowpoke. Uh, Slow-witted and obvious. This Pokemon won't uh, feel any pain and its tail get eaten. It won't notice when its tails grow back either. I'm not a huge fan of, uh, of Slowpoke. No, no, you're a fan of Deb and Quinn. If, again, if you know Dexter, holy shit, that shit was good. That shit was good. We're going to do something kind of cool. Give me a quick second. This is going to be cool. This is how you fucking film a video. Dexter, cards, and give it the background. What's up? <laughs> Let's go. Correct. Which is the evolution of Apom. 
It uses its tail for everything. It wraps both of its tail around you to give you a squeeze. That proof it's re it really likes you. I'm not a fan of the design of the head, but I guess it's like actually a cool Pokemon. Um, it's accompanied by a large retinue of Ponyard. I already had him, but I don't know if I had him in this form. My shop keeps a keen eye on its minion, ensuring none of them even think of double, double crossing it. See, the Gambit is possibly my, one of my favorite Pokemon, but the Gambit is the evolution of a Ponyard and a Bishop. Emolga. Uh, as Emolga fluttered through the air, it crackled with electricity. This Pokemon is cute, but it can cause a lot of problem. Uh, they lay their egg deep inside their nest when attacked by eight more, retaliates using their massive mandible. I thought the eight more was a legendary Pokemon. I'm thinking about this Pokemon. Um, I don't know what is his name. What's his name of the Pokemon? Uh, it was in white and black. It was like a volcano Pokemon, a volcano legendary. Fennekin. As it walks, it mar munches on a twig in place of the snack. It intimidates the opponent by putting hot air out of his ears. A rufflet. It stick like look bellies. It's hot headedness. It challenges its parents at every opportunity, desperate to prove its strength. Nice, dude. Listen, the coat regrow twice a year. When the time comes, Litten sets his own body on fire, burns away the old fur. You can see that he has his, his hair here, which is super cool. A worker. Claydol. Claydol is an underrated Pokemon. I don't think it's very light, but um, if you played, of course, if you played uh, on Emerald or Sapphire or Ruby, there's a very underrated, very, very underrated place. It's like a desert, right? And it's close to the uh, electric gym. And a desert has a couple of treasure. A cacti, um, a, uh, it's not Claydol, but it's Baltoy. And Trapinch, which evolved into Flygon. Three amazing Pokemon. The mysterious Pokemon started like as an ancient clay figurine made over twenty thousand years ago. In the um the Torah, there's a, a made a, a people that made a clay. It's super cool. We have Clang. Did, did I check out Clang? Did I check out Cl Oh, we have two Clang. Okay, I thought it was a Cling. Okay, never mind. I thought it was a pre-evolution. Clink. Wait, wait, where's Clink? Did I already read it? Oh, no, 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 no. Schnitzel. I want to have... Uh, when Clang does go all out, the Minigear link up perfectly with all the other part of the big gears. Pokemon irritation speed increase sharply. Beldum. From its rear, Beldum emits a magnetic force that rapidly pulls opponent in. They get skewered on Beldum sharp claw. Emolga. Um, as Emolga fluttered through the air, it crackled with electricity. This Pokemon is cute, but it caused a lot of trouble. I think that we already had it. What's going on, Ink? What is going on? I think we already had an Emolga. Am I going insane? We did. Ugh. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know how it ran away, but we did. A Jackload. I never seen saw that Pokemon. It's a dragon, that's for sure. It's capable of flying faster than 120 m miles per hour. It battles alongside GP and does on them until it's successfully evolved. Sorry. My battery died uh, for the headphones. You want to see it burn? You want to see it hate like a needle in your vein? Smeargol, or Smeagol, which is the friendly golem uh, in order to ring. Um... It draws symbols uh, with the fluid that oozes from the tip of the cell. Ew. Beyond the symbol, Smeagol Fanatic will pay big money for them. I think there's, there's, wasn't there an event in Emerald? I don't remember that. Um, a city where you can get dial, dioxys? I don't remember, but I remember Smeagol being kind of important. Ah, no, never mind. Okay, I remember. I remember. It wasn't official. It was a um, it was a romac. It was a romac. I don't think it counts. Ready? I'm ready. He's pure. Uh, to extra exposure, expression never change. Behind that blank stare is an intense struggle. 
uh, to contain it, they're having psychic power. I do like the fact that they did it like that. You look at it. Look at the art style. It seems very fake, but this seems very real. Toge de Maru. Uh, with the long hair in his back, his Pokemon takes jersey from other electric Pokemon. It store with what it absorbs in an electric sack. Nice. Tongfish. I believe we had you already, but fuck it. <coughs> Thanks to bacteria that live in the mud flat with it, this Pokemon developed an organ it used to generate electricity. The sacks. It's always going to be the sacks. A clink. We did have a clink. The too many gear that compose this Pokemon are closer than twin. They mesh well only with each other. Super cool. I like that. I like this a lot. Oh, the, the history of those. Make sure that we don't... Uh, uh, it launches water bubble with its leg, drowning prey within the bubbles. This Pokemon can then take its time to savor its meal. The do uh, do spider is kind of cool. Oh, it's shit. It's a spider. I didn't know that. Emergency jelly. Delish. Basculin. I read you last week. So it differs from others in several aspects, including demeanor. The one is gentle. I have categorized it as regional form giving the vast array of shape quality. I don't know. Uh, there's green or red. I don't know the difference. Or don't remember. Swinub. Swinub excel at sniffing out mushroom buried. Need grass or snow. Since ancient time, the people of Isui have often rely upon its skill. Isui is a town in the second generation. Um, this calm and gentle Pokemon swim gracefully through the sea. The building speed, it can leap out of the water. It is often misidentified as a bird Pokemon due to its behavior. Beautiful. Emma Cross. Wow, look at him. Majestic Pokemon. This Pokemon has a parallel from Orm. Emma Cross itself demonstrates tremendous power. Capable of throwing several people, train, and the traditional art of war at once. Drifloon, baby. Drifloon. Uh, Set to lure away young children and carry them to the afterlife. Some whisper that Drifloon are form of reincarnated human souls who are as yet unconfirmed. I prefer your evolution. Uh, fishes detest this troublesome Pokemon because it's prey poison from the spine, getting it everywhere. A different form of quillfish live in other region. Stantler. Shadily ship and have the power to bewitch those who see them. Medicine made by running up those black orbs from falling antler is an effective treatment for insomnia. I love this art style. Scyther. What we're going to do is we have both Scyther here and there. Look at this. Which guy I prefer? A lot of people are going to choose this. I think I like this one a lot. But I think it's, this one is a better one. The large, wickedly sharp sight on its forearm are truly fearsome weapon. Prey attempt to flee are unfailingly thwarted by this Pokemon. Nimble motion. Petili! The leaves on its head are highly valued for medicinal purpose. Let leaf in the sun, boil them, and then drink the bitter decoration for remarkably effective relief from fatigue. So a little energy drink, huh? Voltorb, look at him. Um, an emanic Pokemon that happened to beat a resemblance to a Pokeball. When inside it is discharged electric current, it is a store in its belly with a great, uproarious laugh. One of the most, the coolest Pokemon. That's some really nice art style here. I, I don't like Blamiel, but... <coughs> Still. Um, it's lick its paw because the sweetness only that has soaked into them. It's cunning, stealing into the nest of Combi, taking for itself the honey that Combi have amassed. That is not good, bro. But we have a combi, so let's read the combi. Weirdly speaking, it's kind of cool. The members of the trio spend all the time together. Each one has a slightly different taste and nectar. Aw, that's adorable. Glamiao. Bewitch human with his electrical uh, tail and piercing gaze. Its hidden claw are quite sharp as well, making this Pokemon an exceedingly tricky opponent if antagonized. Oshawa, super cool Pokemon uh, from the um, black and white, I believe. They spawn from the Ova region, use a shell on his belly as a weapon 
to cut down his foe. Thus, I have con confer upon the shell the name Sal Shop. <laughs> kind of cool. And we got a Psyduck. So let's finish this Psyduck. And then we'll be able to play a bit of Tokyo Go. Um, suffer perpetual headache. That only grows to great Psyduck talent power erupt. Contrary to Psyduck intent, ergo, it's trying way to ease the pain. Silly Pokemon, but at the same time, like, the fact that it's always confused could be that he's very smart. Anyway, we're Gucci. Love you guys. Take it easy. Peace.